that set of expectations. They also help Panasonic develop the overall picture quality of the set. We have here Eric, who is from uh, THX, from San Francisco, who has came along to just talk a little bit about the relationship between Panasonic and THX. Okay. So I'm the director of imaging technology for our company. So we're probably most well known for audio things and cinemas, but we've been doing uh, televisions and uh, computer screens and projectors and things like this since I started there, I think it was uh, 2006. And Panasonic was one of the first partners we had with their early plasma TVs because they were able to tune the TV to be as accurate as we requested. The te technical specification is derived from an international standard that the people in Hollywood use and we subscribe to, and that's what the THX mode is about. It's about purity, really, so that you get a picture that is un unaltered from its original source. So even though the HCX processor has features that we don't use, like um, noise reduction and um, image processing features, it does a really wonderful job with color. So we can ask them to have a very uh, small delta, in, in other words, the error in the signals of all the colors and the color of white. And this chip and this TV can do it. So the idea is that the consumer then has a simple solution. They pick the THX mode and they have the closest out-of-the-box experience to what was done in Hollywood. You probably saw over here portrait displays that did the auto calibration of the screens. And that's a professional situation. Nobody at home has these tools. So we do the work with the Panasonic engineer in our lab to make that setting so it already has the calibration baked into the firmware on the TV. Um, <clears throat> I have a THX TV at home, plasma TV, and we're loath to give it up because we really enjoy it all the time. And what we found was that it does not distract us from the, the content. And I think a couple of Panasonic guys and I were talking, they said, I think that's the goal, is so that the TV presents the picture in such a beautiful and unobtrusive way that you can just enjoy the, the content. So um, that's been my goal. After we tune all these things, we run a lot of pictures through the set to see that the images look correct and that there aren't any problems with the mixed colors, there's no contouring going on in the skies, the shadows are not just black, but there's actual detail in there. And I think for all these many years, we've been uh, achieving the goal, which is to make the TV look as close as to the Hollywood presentation they have in the event. If you've been downstairs, you saw that colorist. And he's not kidding. A lot of people use these OLED TVs in those suites because they're really accurate. We're pleased to work with Panasonic, and I am personally because they do strive to do the best in the kind of in the technical, or technical possible. You're not allowed to say which ones of these might be going through the process at the moment. Yeah, that's all all them. They've all built their all done. No, they have, they have a THX sticker on that. Uh, I think it's so that's 1015 to 2000. So I'm the 950. I'm not a kind of the box. Okay. Now, I haven't got the list. Okay, no, that's cool. But Thank they're you. probably correct. Okay. And that's kind of a decision that the marketing group makes as to what TVs are. Uh, they want to have the most features on and things like that. I wouldn't say that there's necessarily a, uh, a performance difference. We'll do this next month. So they're. Uh, okay. Those pipes will be coming out to us, and then we went through the testing, and it's all set for summertime March. Mm -hmm. yeah.